Hello, Stigma. So today I am back with uh, another interesting problem from our video series on work and energy. In today's problem, what we have over here is a hemispherical bow. And uh, on top of this hemispherical pole, let me place a block of uh, mass M, let's say. Then what will happen is the uh, since uh, this uh, block is uh, frictionless and uh, so is the bowl. Since the surface between the block and the bowl is frictionless, right, this whole is friction. This block will start to slide on the bowl. And after some time, the, let's say the block, when the block reaches there, it is going to lose contact with the bowl. Let us say when that happens, this the block makes an angle theta with the vertical. And we have to find exactly that. We have to find the theta for which uh, this uh, block is going to lose contact with the bowl. Now, what I'm going to use to solve this problem is just conservation of uh, energy and our knowledge of circular motion. Initially, the uh, kinetic energy of the block was at zero, it was at rest, and it had only potential energy. Let us say if the radius of this bowl is r, then initially its uh, potential energy, the potential energy of the block, is going to be mgr. And once uh, it has uh, covered uh, some distance, that is at the point when it is going to lose contact with the bowl, its uh, height from the ground is this, right, this one, which is r cos theta. So we are going to have mgr is equal to mg r cos theta plus half mv squared. And you can easily see that the m's are going to cancel and we will be left with a uh, v squared equal to i can take gr common one minus cos theta and uh, this two i'm going to take to the numerator on the other side so i will be left with two gr one minus cos theta let me call this uh, equation equation number one next so uh, you will have to notice that over here, see, being in contact uh, with the bowl implies that there is a normal reaction on the block due to the bowl, right? And this normal reaction uh, instead is uh, due to the centripetal force uh, that the block experiences as it uh, moves on the surface of the bowl. So it is going to experience some centripetal force due to which it is also going to experience a normal reaction on the other direction so that the block is uh, attached to the surface of the bowl throughout its motion, but then it loses contact, right? So just at the point when it is going to lose contact with the bowl, we are going to have N is equal to fc all this right and what is going to be fc fc is nothing but uh, mv squared divided by r if uh, the velocity of this block uh, at the point when it is going to lose contact if i uh, say that that is a v or it's a speed at that point is v then we will get the centripetal force as mv square upon r we know that from our knowledge of circular motion and what is going to be the normal reaction? The block is going to experience a force of gravity, mg, in the downward direction. And if this angle is theta, then this angle is also theta. So it is going to experience mg sine theta in this direction and uh, uh, mg cos theta in this direction. And hence, n is going to be equal to mg cos theta. Again, the m's are going to cancel, so we will be left with uh, v squared equal to g r cos theta. Let me call this uh, equation number two. And now you can see that both equation number one and equation number two give us uh, v squared. 
And hence, what we will get is that gr cos theta, that is 2, is equal to 2 gr 1 minus cos theta. And now what we are going to do is open the brackets and rearrange the terms. So I will be left with 2 gr minus 2 gr cos theta. So we will get 3 gr cos theta is equal to 2 gr. And so G, R and G, R will cancel on both the sides. So I will get cos theta is equal to 2 by 3. And that is what we were searching for in this problem. The angle at which the block loses contact with the bone. To motivate me to create more such interesting problems, do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like this video. Thank you for watching.